Hello, I'm Arun, a product manager for AWS Trusted Advisor. Today, I'm going to walk through how you can use Trusted Advisor for cost optimization. Let's get started. This session assumes that you already understand how Trusted Advisor works, how to access check data, and the format of check results, including status and recommendations. To recap, Trusted Advisor inspects your AWS infrastructure and provides best practice recommendations when opportunities exist to save money, improve system availability and performance, or help close security gaps. I'm currently already logged in to the AWS Management Console. Now I'll navigate to Trusted Advisor. You can see the categories in Trusted Advisor reflected here as five pillars with a specific set of checks in each pillar. You can see cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, and service limits. The checks are based on best practices identified by experts in each AWS service, as well as learnings from serving customers over time. For each check, Trusted Advisor provides recommendations, typically based on specific resources that are inspected. The infographic provides a pillar level summary of check results. For each pillar, the check summary includes a rollup of check status sorted by OK or green, warning or yellow, and error or red. In the console, the green yellow and red flags correspond to no problems detected, investigation recommended, and action recommended states. The specific criteria and implication of a check state depends on the check. For this session, I'll focus on the cost optimization pillar in Trusted Advisor. For the cost optimization pillar, the potential monthly savings is the sum of potential monthly savings across all checks in the pillar your actual total savings might be lower than this amount. This is because some checks might provide overlapping recommendations for the same resources. An example of this overlap is low utilization Amazon EC2 instances and Amazon EC2 reserved instance optimization. You can choose to terminate instances based on the low utilization check. Doing so, reduces the number of reservations that you need to buy to optimize for spend. To avoid conflict, first optimize based on low utilization check, then refresh the reserved instance check for updated recommendations. In total, there are 14 cost optimization checks in the cost optimization pillar. This is a point in time number that's expected to grow as Trusted Advisor continuously adds new checks. Let's start with checks that inspect the utilization of resources and flag for resources with low utilization. This covers services such as Amazon Relational Database Service, Elastic Load Balancing, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon Elastic Block Store, and Amazon Redshift. The Amazon RDS Idle DB instances check inspects the configuration of your Amazon RDS for any DB instances that appear to be idle. It flags yellow if an active DB instance has not had a connection in the last seven days. The check recommends taking a snapshot of the idle DB instance and then either stopping it or deleting it. Stopping a DB instance usually incurs additional costs when compared to deleting the instance and then retaining only the final snapshot. As with any Trusted Advisor check, the status and recommendation should be weighed against your use case and requirements. If your business need requires you to ignore a recommendation, you can do so. You can also select such resources and exclude them from the check results. The Idle Load Balancers check inspects your elastic load balancing configuration for load balancers that are not actively used. It flags yellow if a load balancer has no active backend instances or has no healthy backend instances 
or has had fewer than 100 requests per day in the last seven days. The low utilization Amazon EC2 instances check inspects the Amazon EC2 instances that were running at any time during the last 14 days and alerts you if the daily CPU utilization was 10% or less and network IO was 5 MB or less on four or more days. The check recommends stopping or terminating instances that have low utilization or scaling the number of instances by using auto scaling. The underutilized Amazon EBS volumes check inspects Amazon EBS volume configurations and warns when volumes appear to be underused. It flags yellow when a volume is unattached or had less than one IOPS per day for the past seven days. The check recommends creating a snapshot and deleting the volume to reduce costs. The underutilized Amazon Redshift clusters check inspects your Amazon Redshift configuration for clusters that appear to be underutilized. It flags yellow if a running cluster has not had a connection in the last seven days, or if a running cluster has had less than 5% cluster-wide average CPU utilization for 99% of the last seven days. The unassociated Elastic IP addresses check inspects Elastic IP addresses, EIPs, in the account and recommends associating the EIP with a running active instance or releasing the unassociated EIP. EIPs are static IP addresses that can mask the failure of an instance or availability zone by remapping a public IP address to another instance in your account. A nominal charge is imposed for an EIP that is not associated with a running instance. We covered checks that dealt with low utilization. Next, let's go through checks that provide reservation recommendations as well as the savings plan check. These recommendations are sourced from AWS Cost Explorer and you can use them to dig deeper with custom look back periods and payment options. You can use Cost Explorer to make purchases based on recommendations that appear in Trusted Advisor. These checks aren't available to accounts linked in consolidated billing. Recommendations are available only for the paying account. The recommendations are generated by analyzing your on-demand usage for the past 30 days and simulating every combination of reservations to identify the best number of each type of reserved node to purchase to maximize your savings. These checks cover recommendations based on partial upfront payment option with one year or three year commitment. It's important to note that these checks don't take usage into account and assume 100% usage. For this reason, it's a best practice to first run through recommendations from the low utilization checks before making reservation or savings plan commitments. The savings plan check inspects your usage of Amazon EC2, AWS Fargate, and AWS Lambda over the last 30 days and provides savings plan purchase recommendations. This allows you to commit to a consistent usage amount measured in dollars per hour for a one or three year term in exchange for discounted rates. These recommendations should be considered an alternative to your RI recommendations and choosing to act fully on both sets of recommendations would likely lead to overcommitment. The Amazon EC2 reserved instance optimization, Amazon Redshift reserved node optimization, Amazon Relational Database Service RDS reserved instance optimization, Amazon Elastic Cache reserved node optimization, and Amazon Elastic Search reserved instance optimization checks. Inspect your usage for Amazon EC2, Amazon Redshift, Amazon RDS, Amazon Elastic Cache, and Amazon Elastic Search services resources. Based on usage, 
These checks provide recommendations on purchase of reserved nodes to help you reduce costs incurred from using those resources. Taking Amazon Redshift reserved node optimization as an example, you can scroll down to the table of recommendations and then choose columns display to see the column names. As you can see, the table provides purchase recommendations specific to region, Amazon Redshift family, and Amazon Redshift node type. It provides the number of reserved nodes to purchase, expected average utilization of those reservations, estimated monthly savings, upfront and monthly cost, estimated cost after you purchase the recommended reserved nodes, estimated break-even in months, the look-back period in days, and the payment term in years. The Amazon EC2 Reserved Instance Lease Expiration checks for Amazon EC2 Reserved Instances that are scheduled to expire within the next 30 days or have expired in the preceding 30 days. Reserved Instances don't renew automatically. You can continue using an EC2 instance covered by the reservation without interruption, but you'll be charged on demand rates. New reserved instances can have the same parameters as the expired ones, or you can purchase reserved instances with different parameters. The last check we'll dig into is the Amazon Route 53 Latency Resource Record Sets check. This check warns if only one latency resource record set is configured for a particular domain name. To allow Route 53 to route queries to the region with the lowest network latency, create latency resource record sets for a particular domain name in different regions. If you create only one latency resource record set for a domain name, then all queries are routed to one region and you pay extra for latency-based routing without getting the benefits. This check inspects your Route 53 latency record sets that are configured inefficiently. It recommends that you define a latency resource record set for each region if you have resources in multiple regions. It recommends creating resources in more than one region and defines latency resource record sets for each if you have resources in only one region. It recommends using a simple resource record set if you don't want to use multiple regions. To summarize, we went through 14 cost optimization checks in AWS Trusted Advisor that can help you save on your AWS spend. Recommendations from these checks can be obtained from the AWS console, which we showed here, through the AWS Support API, as well as integration with Amazon CloudWatch events. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.